People call it Palm Springs. I live here now. Hey, I'm just like following Brandon today. It's a bad tap tap. So the water doesn't splash up into the butthole. You don't even want to know what's about to happen right now. <laughs> so creepy. I take my victims down into this lair. Oh my god, the people outside, I have all my windows open. My name is Meg Dick. Yes, it's it's a dick. I'm not a dick. That's just my name, okay? Was I given it at birth? Yes, I was. Just like you probably were. Unless your name is half a lump or something absolutely ridiculous. And then you probably went down to your local courthouse and, and changed it on a Sunday afternoon. Me, on the other hand, I go to church on Sundays. So no. <laughs> I mean, I do sometimes, but like, come on. I have a couple Sundays off. But let me tell you something. This town, this desert, people call it Palm Springs. It's a weird town. It's beautiful. Oh, just bad. It's my bad. The weather's nice if you like to sweat. And the foreigners are fun. But let me tell you something else. That's it. I live here now. And you're about to come along in a day of me being here. Good luck. All you people watching, we're hard dicks. We ain't no little soft, little limpy penis is, okay? Little pee pee's. Fucking hard. Be tough. So, if that's you, you're strong, hard, just like a dick, subscribe. <laughs> so, we're gonna rewind to this morning. So, uh, yeah. Alright, are you gonna. Alright, cue the rewind. Whenever my ears pop out like this, I feel like I look like Gollum. But Gollum is low-key sexy, so it's okay. We're going to Starbucks. Yay, Starbucks! That's all I got. I'm so dead right now, but watch right after I drink this coffee. I'm gonna look like I'm on crack. Yeah, crack without crack. That's what I call life. <laughs> Here we go. A little taste test of this. <laughs> I feel like I get this one every time. What is this? Coffee and almond milk. Here we go. I'm alive, bitches. <laughs> what Brandon got? Look at this foxy, foxy drink. Starbucks reserve. Let me know if this is true. Brandon claims that there are only four of these Starbucks reserves in the world. Is it true? Is it not? I could just look on my safari, but you know, rather not. It was way too windy, so I'm just gonna narrate. We at Brandon's mom's house. I have no idea what the fludge I was saying here. Probably something about cats or about sex. What the fuck? Am I in a fucking tornado? Anyways, enjoy this lovely piano solo by Brandon's brother, William. And also make sure you subscribe. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm nervous. Oh my God. This is Midas and Ugin's mom. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I'm kidding. Well, that was a fast little pit stop, Rooney. I'm just like following Brandon today. I my keys. <laughs> oh, the tables have turned. <laughs> we came to um, Brandon's mom's house to get Brandon's certificate because Brandon got a job. He's a bud tender. <laughs> He doesn't smoke weed or anything. We both don't. We just hate it, literally. Like, I get seizures if I smoke. But he's a bud tender. Am I allowed to say this? Yeah. He's a bud tender. How do you feel being a bud tender? I just like to tend to bud. <laughs> His first day is today. I can't follow him, obviously. To the bud tending, but we'll, we'll know how it goes when he's done. You don't even want to know what's about to happen right now. You don't even want to know. Brandon, what are you about to do? Just get Apple AirPods. Oh! Just gonna, you know, pop in and purchase some Apple AirPods. Fuck. Oh! Just stopping in real quick before I gotta go tend to my buds to get some Apple AirPods. I'm over here barely affording the water I use to flush my shit down the toilet, and he's... <laughs> <laughs> what? Is it day to day? Mmm, kind of. I have a couple of meetings. Not for me. I've just been following Brandon around. Yeah. He gets a job once, and he feels like a businessman. <laughs> I am, bitch! He's such a businessman on his phone with his Starbucks reserve. Alive. He's 
blasting music in his AirPods and can't hear me at all. He gets AirPods and now I'm nothing to him. Well, I don't know how this ended up happening, but I'm coming to Brandon to fill out his W-2s and shit. But I'm not happy about it because I have to shit so bad I'm not gonna like shit in this guy's house. How do you feel like such a businessman? Yeah. I was literally like sitting there just like laughing at him so hard and it was like dead silent in there because look at him in his fucking little airpod. He was just wearing those the whole time. <laughs> so he's like filling out papers. <laughs> Business and calls already. Yeah, so I'll be over tonight. What, do you, what time do you think is good? Like it's eight, nine? Once and now he's a businessman. What are we doing now? We're in H and M. You know, this whole following Brandon around day, I feel more like a pet dog on a leash. Dude, I just have to fucking shit. Where's the bathroom? So over this shit. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Shit. Do you guys have a bathroom here? We don't, but there's one next door at uh, Starbucks. Okay, thank you. I'm going to Starbucks. He didn't give one shit. I'm going to Starbucks. He didn't give a shit either. Damn, boy, you got better shoes than me! I wash my hands, I swear. Starbucks bathrooms are the fucking worst because the lines are so long because everyone's drinking their coffee and needing to shit. Another bath time story with Meg, by the way. I'm sitting on the toilet, right? Minding my own business. I don't have a magazine or anything to read because, you know, it's public. It would be nice if actually public restrooms left you a little magazine or newspaper on the side, but probably gets stolen by me. <sighs> Fine, okay. You guys are smart. So, we're sitting down, just doing your thing on the toilet seat. And then, all of a sudden, the sensors go all whacked out and think you're done and start flushing in the middle of a drop. A poop drop. Now, you have to rambunctiously get up so the water doesn't splash up into your butthole. But, you, like, that's risky because you don't know where the poop is gonna land. If it makes it in the toilet, that's the best case scenario. But let's say it lands on the floor, right? Now you're fucking picking up shit off the floor and you feel like a plumber at a Chuck E. Cheese. So yeah, luckily this time uh, I wasn't in mid shit and it was a false alarm. So I just, I think that that is something that public restroom workers should uh, work on. Just control your sensors, okay? Control your sensors. Where are we going next, Brandon? Oh. Finally! Going back to H&M, guys. Brandon got the wrong sizes. He forgot that he's not a small anymore. <laughs> That was some real true Palm Springs shit right there. Bye ladies, it was nice catching up. It's night time, time. It's night time, guys. Little Papoosh is off to work like the businessman he is. Bye. Have a great day, son. Do good. I'll miss you. He's growing up so fast. <sighs> now I get to fucking do what I please. <laughs> it's the moment I've been waiting for. Really? Brandon? We're gonna have to wait a couple seconds. <laughs> He's back! How was it? Are you tired? Was it such a long day of work? How were the plants? That's great. Were they? <laughs> you love it? He loves it! I don't know. I always don't know how to end these. I just kind of say like, okay, bye. Okay, well, bye-bye. <laughs> okay, well then bye, and I'll subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll give me a little thumbs up and shit because apparently that like, you know, means you like the video or whatever. If you don't, like, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I don't give a fuck. Bye. Yeah.